All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing our first Q&A for this week leading up to the big finale for Game of Thrones Season 7. First topic for this one is hackers threaten to leak Game of Thrones Season 7 finale early. And spoiler warning, of course, if you are not cut out for Game of Thrones, which is up to Season 7, Episode 6, which aired last night. If you guys haven't seen my review for it, it's in the channel right now. You can definitely uh, check it out, as well as I did my predictions, video predictions, for what I think is going to happen in the Season 7 finale. So this one's interesting. I think the most interesting thing about the finale, with how this season has been going, is whether or not it's going to get leaked early. <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see. Of course, I'll let you guys know this week if it does, probably at least by Thursday or Friday if it gets leaked around. On Tuesday, Wednesday time. Uh, so we'll see what happens with this one. As you guys know, if you've seen my videos, uh, you know I'm not a huge fan of leaks for for me because from my perspective, it means it gets wrecked for me. Uh, and for some people, say, well, Trav, just don't go online. It's like. Bro, then I'm not doing my job. I have to come online. I have to make videos with you guys. That's my job here as, you know, a part-time YouTuber. That's what I do. I can't ignore you. I also try not to ignore you guys in comments because I think, you know, if you guys just post all these comments and stuff and I just ignore you totally, you know, that's not, that's, I would say that's also not, I can't do that. You know what I mean? That's not part of, of being interactive with you guys, doing Q&As, doing videos like this, predictions, all this stuff. All that involves you guys, and you guys are able to leave comments, so it's through that. So for me, if it gets leaked, it's probably going to get wrecked for me. Uh, so, so hopefully that's not the case this week, because that's what happened last week with episode 6. If you missed the videos, so you can check it out and give my thoughts on that. But as far as this uh, hacker's threat goes, uh, let's get into it a little bit. I've got the uh, link in the description for you guys, economictimes.indiatimes.com, and there's other websites that have uh, you know uh, some different little blurbs on it. Hackers threaten to leak Game of Thrones Season 7 finale. So Washington, after several HBO Twitter accounts were hacked earlier this week, the hackers have reportedly threatened to release the finale for Game of Thrones Season 7 ahead of its air date. Uh, they have also threatened to release the passwords for a number of HBO social media accounts. The group who call themselves the Mr. Smith Group, well, I've never heard of them, um, also claims to have access to many HBO platforms already and has threatened to release the season seven finale ahead of its air date. Um, and it says, uh, those responsible for the original hacking of HBO saw 1.5 terabytes of data stolen, which uh, is a lot, just a lot of data, trust me, uh, including Game of Thrones uh, scripts and personal employee data, uh, have now apparently released even more information, reports metro.co.uk. So, um, yeah, they've got some access to some of the platforms, and uh, yeah, it says uh, they warned, be ready for Game of Thrones uh, Season 7, Episode 6 and 7, as soon as possible. And that's basically it for the details as far as this. There might be some other ads or some other sites online that have more details about it than that, but that's all that this particular site has that I'll link for you guys. You can Google around if you want to see uh, more. Um, I'm not sure what they want. You know, like, are they trying to blackmail them? You know, are they holding an episode for ransom? I don't know. Uh, really, I mean, you know, as far as episode six went, apparently it was accidentally shown in Spain, and then people recorded it, got their mitts on it, and, you know, uploaded it online. So I'm not sure if you would even consider that to be a hack. It sounds more like an accident. Um, if some of these social media accounts and, and HBO platform stuff did get hacked and they stole 1.5 terabytes of data, if that's true, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if the episode was in one of those accounts already, you know, ready to be aired or something like I know they have the HBO different services like Go and stuff like that. So we'll have to see. I mean, you know, Game of Thrones is such a huge series. It's shown all over the world. People are such huge fans of it that people are just absolutely clamoring to get you know the episodes as fast as possible and to be able to see them as fast as possible so if even one with media nowadays and with the internet if even one source leaks that episode and someone's able to grab it, next thing you know, very quickly it can end up on torrents and within a day it can be all over the web and you know everybody's freaking seen it at that point. So we'll have to see how it works out at this point with so many episodes of Game of Thrones being leaked already and kind of how this season is uh, trending so far. I really would not be surprised if this final episode is actually leaked. So uh, stay tuned to the channel, guys. Uh, I'll let you guys know, of course, uh, if it is. And if you see a video from me, you know, season seven 
finale leaked on Wednesday or Thursday this week, maybe Friday, then uh, what you might want to do is just stay out of you know Game of Thrones videos or off the internet for a bit if you don't want for it to you know to to be ruined for you. Otherwise, if it does get leaked, shit, you know one of the ways you could do it is just watch it yourself right away, uh, which some people you know commented that they did because they didn't want to have to wait and then have it be spoiled for them. And definitely, you can understand that for sure, you know, because uh, if if I'd have done that personally for episode, if I could have done that for episode six, I would have, but it was too late by the time the leak was uh, was out. I already started seeing comments before I could have possibly even watched it anyway once I found out. Um, we'll do some uh, questions for this week, though, of course, uh, as usual with you guys. Uh, so feel free to send me any others you have because, I mean, we don't have much longer of Game of Thrones left. We got this episode for this season, and then next year we'll get our final six episodes. We have seven episodes left of this incredible series. So it's close to ending at this point. Some of the questions that were sent through last night after episode six, uh, Josh Berry says, Trev Q&A, do you believe this finale will mirror last year's except Cersei's plan uh, not working out like she thinks? I can't imagine her getting one over again. Uh, thanks and F spoilers. So yeah, it's totally true, man. Um, well, for her at this time, I mean, usually you would expect Cersei to have something up her sleeve and to have some kind of trap set for the enemy. But I think with, uh, you know, the recent changes with her finding out she's pregnant, if she is in fact pregnant, some people don't think she is. Um, you know, and also with them getting their asses handed to them by Daenerys in a, you know, straight up battle um, earlier this season, episode four, you would kind of think, I think at this time that Cersei may not try anything and may actually hear what they, what they actually do have to say. Um, I just think it makes uh, makes a lot of sense. She may throw some kind of curveball, like demand Daenerys hand over Tyrion or something. That wouldn't surprise me, but I would not think that Daenerys is going to do that because you know she's right now. Daenerys has got the upper hand for sure. So uh, seriously, may not want to try anything too crazy or have any crazy demands as a result of uh, you know how strong Daenerys is. Dab on them haters says uh, John best be careful or he will have ants in his pants. <laughs> so I like that one. That's good. Um, Carol Van Leer says, I liked it, and I felt the same as you about the pacing, Trev. Uh, can you explain why they're doing extended episodes instead of regular length episodes, but more of them? So it's really weird for Carol and, and anybody else here who's wondering about the episode number. It's really weird what happened here. Basically what happened is, is that... Um, HBO wanted more episodes. They wanted them to continue and as long as, as many seasons as a series as they could get out. But with this season and the last two, uh, it looks like they just wanted to do these 13 episodes. So season seven would be seven, season eight would be six. And that's all they wanted to do. They did not want to extend it further. It's weird that you have some episodes that are over the runtime, and if you combine those up, you probably could stretch this into a eight episode season or a nine, maybe even ten episode season, especially if you look at episode um, you know uh, six and episode five. Um, those both those episodes have some really fast paced changes uh, have some teleporting around maybe not teleporting but moving very fast around for characters and that and um, yeah it's uh, it's pretty it's a lot different than what we're used to early on for Game of Thrones so they probably could stretch this out to 10 episodes maybe they just didn't want to because of uh, budget because the dragons and the CG cost so much money every episode so they felt like with this budget we should probably just do 7 maybe they don't want to lose their momentum they don't want to stretch out the seasons too much and lose people because the show's become so hot um, and, you know, get so many millions of uh, viewers every uh, premiere and every every time over 10 million in a subscribed network is just crazy. So maybe they just don't want to lose it or maybe they just had enough of the show and they kind of want to wrap it up and then as they're going through it, there's all these scenes and it just ends up being longer. So they decided to do that. But it looks like to me, they probably could have stretched this out if they really wanted to and uh, it would have felt more similar to what we're used to with some of the earlier seasons but uh, that said you know um, I guess quality over quantity is, is the idea that they decide to go with so it's what it is uh, Henry Syndicate says are you kidding me this episode was effing awesome felt like hard home 2.0 well I mean you know it was pretty good like I did like it it didn't have a big battle feel for me because on our you know human side we only had a few you know members there and then it's kind of like a rescue mission so it definitely has its place and we've got some huge battles coming up so um of course the turn of the dragon is um is a big one so they lose a dragon and the undead army gets one so uh that was pretty big for sure definitely and no and i shouldn't i shouldn't make it seem like i didn't enjoy the episode i really did enjoy the episode i like the episode a lot um 
just all the controversy with leaks and stuff takes away from it. Uh, the strange pacing just being a lot different and some of the strange decisions. It's just going against, I think, in a lot of ways uh, what we thought we were going to see for this season. And, you know, that may not be a bad thing because Game of Thrones does keep us kind of on our toes and uh, it's pretty unpredictable with regards to what they're going to do. So we'll see what happens in this finale. Who knows? Maybe Cersei will try something. I just, uh, right now, I'm looking at it thinking like, ah, I'm just not sure, man. Uh, Chris Tirano says, uh, episode 7 prediction, Jorah gets friend zoned by Daenerys again, and Jon is the one to finally break the streak of people friend zoned by Daenerys. Uh, and I, I like that prediction, Chris. I, I think you're right as far as that goes. I do think we'll, yeah, I think we'll see that. Uh, pretty soon anyway. They've been setting it up pretty good this season. I've really liked kind of the, uh, how quickly the relationship between Daenerys and Jon is kind of formed here. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. I've liked it a lot. Um, Stephen B. Smith says, The dragon's death was sadder for me than any human death in the entire show. And, um, oh man, you, you thought so? So, I mean, for me, like, I did, th I did think it was sad when you see it kind of going down and you see all the blood pour out and everything. Um, but for me, I think, like, Eddard's death will always be super sad. I think uh, the Red Wedding is, is probably the saddest episode ever for me. I mean, that was a huge, hugely sad episode. So even though the Dragon's Death was sad, I didn't, I don't put it at the same level as, like, a Red Wedding or something like that, which is some of the most traumatizing stuff I've ever seen in, in a TV series. And there's a lot of people who actually quit watching the show at that point. I remember certain people in particular that were like, I'm done with the show after this. <laughs> this, is too, this is too much, man. Last one will be from Matthew Hennigan who says, Great episode. I have a question, Trev. How do uh, Beric and uh, Thoros's light, or how do they light their swords in fire? Is it a Lord of Light thing? Uh, that's actually a good question. I'd have to look it up. You guys can write your comments below if you know. It's probably in the book somewhere, to be honest. Um, you just see him kind of like wrap it around and he kind of just, you know, takes it up like that. And uh, must be something is Glover saw, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it is some kind of like religious thing, or maybe there's a trick to it, and the swords are designed to do that. I'm really not sure. That's that's a good one, but uh, I'll let you guys answer that one. You can answer in the comments below. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Only one episode left of Game of Thrones for this season. Man, it went by fast. And send me more questions for Q&As this week, guys, and we'll do a few more. So really excited for the finale. Hoping everything goes well and it doesn't get, you know, spoiled for anybody, and it uh, should be a good one. Uh, that'll be it for this video today, guys. If you liked it, please thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite, and if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at the bottom left. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon. You better subscribe.